Alright, this is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you in here. Actually, I'm not going to be reviewing a juicer myself, but I'm going to have somebody else review the juicer. But also, I'm going to share my opinions about a popular juicer that's on the market. And today, where in the world I am, I'm here in, in Vista, California, which is a northern uh, San Diego County. And I'm here at the Vista Farmer's Market, happening right over there. And actually, I came across... Um, uh, one of my viewers actually that started a shirt cane business partly because of me and my videos which is great um, and I want to encourage you guys to start a juicing business you know juicing is all the rage and most people unfortunately don't want to do it themselves but if you do want to do it yourself I have all the videos you need so that you can choose the right juicer that being said you know I also get into and am familiar with commercial juicers you know I've researched them all I know all the different ones out there I have an upcoming video where I'm gonna go over all the popular commercial juicers for you guys um, but also I like to kind of keep tabs on what's going on and educate you guys about the truth about juicers because you know if you see a video from a manufacturer they're gonna tout their juicer they're gonna talk it up they're gonna make it sound like the best thing in the world and you got to have this Ferrari of all juicers right and me on the other hand I sell all the brand juicers and I don't really care I tell like it is I share my experiences I share with the companies how they can make their juicers better I share some of their faults and some of their weaknesses so that you guys know the truth and especially when you're buying a couple hundred dollar household juicer this can be quite important but it's even more important if you're buying a commercial juicer Juicer that has to work day in day out because your income is depending on it so at uh, here at the farmers market actually I made a cool company that actually sells sugarcane juice fresh you know not too many places in the country you could do this maybe uh, Southern California here maybe like South Florida maybe South Texas um, and like Hawaii Puerto Rico but other than that you'd have to source sugarcane and import it from somewhere and then juice it and sell it and I think sugarcane is an amazing food it actually has less sugar in it than actually orange juice which you probably drank for breakfast and it's also filled with a wealth of nutrients including you know up to 90 different minerals antioxidants and of course mostly the filtered water that's filtered by the grass or the sugarcane plant anyways uh, let's go head over into the farmers market and show you guys my opinions and show you guys the uh, juicer today which is like uh, you know well known on YouTube if you watch uh, sugarcane juicing videos there's a guy hucking uh, this uh, sugarcane juicer that he makes out to be the best in the world and today we are gonna learn if it is really the best and if it's really the commercial sugarcane juicer you should be getting if you're doing a commercial business so now I'm here outside the booth of uh, Ghana love not ganja love get your mind out of the gutter is Ghana love and actually Ghana in uh, Indian language means sugarcane and you're gonna love it get it <laughs> anyways this is, they make the fresh sugarcane juice here they have all different sizes of course I always encourage you guys to get the largest size it's gonna be the best value for your dollar and don't get any ice ice so basically takes up space that you could be drinking the sugarcane juice which is really delicious anyways uh, they're uh, sourcing the local sugar cane they're basically washing it really well and then they're juicing it skin and all and I encourage you guys to actually drink your sugar cane juice with the skin there's more nutrients in the skin because of the colorful pigments and try of course to get the red or purple cane because there's a lot more deep rich antioxidants in there anyways uh, today we're gonna actually talk about the sugar cane juicer they're using so uh, let's go back and actually check it out they've been in business for like two years and have had the sugar cane juicer the entire time so now I'm going to share with you guys actually uh, Tubo Biz, not Turbo Biz, Tubo Biz. I don't know why it's named that, but the guy has many videos on YouTube. It makes his juicer to be like the best sugarcane juice in the world. And, you know, I would agree that many imported sugarcane juicers coming out of China are really of low quality and are probably going to break. Actually, one of the ones that I've had a direct experience with, they ordered it for a festival I was attending. They ordered it and they bought all the sugarcane and then they turned it on and it didn't work. And they're like calling me to fix it and I'm like man I I can't fix this it needs some parts we don't got and so they couldn't even juice all the cane they bought because they got an imported uh, you know Chinese machine even though they were like a thousand dollars right so I want you guys no matter what sugar cane juice you guys get to be careful and uh, this this guy here there's a lot of nice things about it but there's a few things that maybe could be improved about it and you know just looking at this 
um, it looks great. The problem is this machine is like $3,600. So I know you guys are like home juicers and want a sugarcane juicer. This is not the one you're gonna get, but if you're here running markets, like they run three markets, I think one on Thursday, um, on Saturday and Sunday, they do like basically the North uh, County here. It's uh, Vista, Lucadia and Encinitas, I believe on the different days. And uh, so, I mean, this is literally their, their cash box. If they didn't have this machine, they wouldn't have a business because, I mean, their main business is producing the sugarcane juice. They add a lot of different flavors to it, whether it's ginger, which is what I had today, and it tasted amazing, or whether you want to get kumquat or even, like, do a sugarcane sure, juice cleanse and get, like, charcoal and all these crazy things in there. Um, they do it all. So uh, yeah, it's really important to get a machine that's gonna be durable. So I can't, they, they have been using this for two years and literally, literally aside from a capacitor that's inside going out and maybe like a gear loosening, it's always been durable for them. I think the next thing I wanna do is actually uh, take some of this apart and maybe show you guys how it's built and my opinions on the build quality. I mean, it looks pretty nice and stout. I mean, most commercial juicers are are pretty stout. I bought one actually used on Craigslist, cost me about $600. I think they ran around a thousand dollars brand new. And um, you know, it's a pain to clean. I, I can't take the gears out. I can't do anything. I basically just run water in there. I have a three roller. This is actually a six roller. And actually I do have to say, I'm quite impressed on how dry it gets the cane, just one pressing. I gotta like put my cane through maybe two times, maybe three times on some instances to get the, to get the cane really dry. Um, so this guy just one time through, no problem. How it works is basically you put the cane in on this uh, chimney here and you could put two canes at once and just let it drop in. So it's basically like auto feeding. Um, on my cane juicer, it kind of goes in at an angle and you gotta kind of feed it in there. So I really like that setup. It has a nice glass um, you know, window here, which is like tempered glass, which is nice because you can see kind of what's going on. You can see the cane juice um, being extracted at the same time. And if you're a con customer, right, you wanna be able to see that, hey, they're juicing your cane juice fresh. I encourage you not to buy any cane juice that's like already pre-packaged because you never know if they put cane juice and they added water or what they did when they're making it, right? But the problem with this glass is that, you know, it does remove out easily, but the problem is there's a, like a little catch in here and like juice sprays in there and kind of, kind of sits in there. It's kind of gross. Like this should have a better design on this so it's like flush and inset. It's almost kind of like added in as an afterthought. They should like make it kind of go in and, and be flush and have a gasket so that if any juice drips down, it actually drips to where it needs to go to come out the spout. Another thing you might notice is as I'm sitting here, this thing is sitting here, drip, drip, drip. It's like a leaking faucet, right? And so, I mean, you can see like there's like drips down over here because, you know, they replace it, um, you know, and try to save all the juice because the juice is quite valuable. So I think an easy fix for this is would be like a cap. Just put a cap on there that when you're done juicing, you can put a cap so like it's not going to drip all over the place, man. That gets kind of messy. I mean, the other thing that's really interesting, if, if I look at this closely as they're juicing, right, right here on the edge and this edge, it's like all wet. There's sure cane juice. And if you look at it, it's actually kind of stained. And that's because when you pull this guy out, right, there's a lot of play. Look at this play. If I go back and forth, man, that's like at least uh, maybe a quarter inch of play. So like when it juices, the juice sprays out everywhere and this catch tray is not wide enough and it doesn't have like maybe some kind of gasketing material to like direct the juice in the tray. So there's always drips. So your, your money's going down the drain if you get this juicer, right? That being said, you know, pulling this out, this does have actually a nice fine screen on it. Something my juicer actually does not have you know, that is easily removed, which actually lets a uh, nice cane juice out without any kind of particulate. I have to use an accessory strainer on mine. So that's pretty good. And then, you know, this goes in pretty tough. You gotta like shove it in there. But you know, so far so good. Uh, next, what I wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, maybe show you guys uh, the rollers and how to take this apart. So now we're taking a look at the back of the machine here and it's pretty cool. You know, I always like to make my suggestions as like a personal user while I have not used this machine, just coming upon it and dealing with sugarcane juicers as well as all kinds of other juicers all the time. I see a lot of things that could be improved on it and hopefully they'll take some of these suggestions and make it even better. One of the challenges is here, the thumb screws, right? So basically there's some screws or some nuts that you actually have to undo uh, to loosen. So this whole back piece comes off. Now this back piece, very important. It's a safety piece to have it actually on the machine. Um, otherwise your fingers could get caught in the rollers, which is not a good thing. 
You know, I'm not sure that there's any kind of interlock switch. Let's take a look. There isn't. I mean, there isn't an interlock switch on mine, but one of the nice features should be, unless the machine is properly assembled, it should not turn on just to make sure in case you have a nitwit working for you, that they nothing will ever get into the gears or won't work unless, you know, it's properly assembled, so it's providing the safety. But uh, here's the gears here, and uh, once you have the back off, then you could also take this top piece off to reveal the in innards, right? And once again, there should be some kind of safety interlock, whether that's a mechanical switch, that is probably gonna fail because all the sugar cane juice splashing around or maybe like something like some of the other home juicers use a magnetic switch right but yeah I mean the gears in here they look amazing uh, six gears they're properly spaced out and they do a quite a good job but the challenge I see is that it's like not all flush in here they got these big um, sealed bearings which is good so like no juice will get into the gears or there's some of the uh, uh, you know bearings inside there but like this it, this comes out it, it, it's extreme it, uh, it protrudes here and the problem I'm seeing is that there's you know some buildup of like cane juice and different things and like there's these cracks and crevices so the other thing I want you guys to be aware of is that this machine although it's all stainless steel and it should be NSF approved it's not NSF approved and I'm pretty confident that if they submitted this to NSF or to get equivalent certification they would deny because of all these nooks and crannies which you know um, in my opinion would be a cleaning nightmare like the machine I use I don't think it's NSF either but there's not all these nooks and crannies it's almost like a clean surface but uh, other than that like inside here looks all pretty good although you know I also am seeing like a nice big puddle I don't know if you guys see that but it's a big puddle of juice here and I mean that just shouldn't be happening man you shouldn't have a juicer and it shouldn't spill juice everywhere and not get it into the cup and where it's going so I'm not exactly sure why all that's happening um, the cool thing is the assembly is pretty easy on this just basically put it back together and the slides back on And now what I want to do is actually I want to go ahead and juice some cane for you and then show you guys actually how dry the pulp is as it comes out. So now for the first time in my life, I'm going to get to juice a piece of sugar cane. It's actually, this is well cleaned cane, man. I'm thoroughly impressed. It is basically wire brushed and they cut off all the little like uh, little nubs on there. This is like really clean cane. Um, we're going to juice this and turn this on. You guys can see the rollers starting up. Now here's a challenge. This is a pretty quiet machine. But the challenge is, if you don't have enough like electrical power, this machine's gonna run slow and this was not really disclosed. So they have like a super powerful generator here that they run from like on propane, which is impressive because it runs and burns cleaner than either diesel or gas um, uh, really far away. And so like when they plug this in the house originally to test it, like it ran really slow and they're like, oh my God, we got a defective third. $3,600 juicer we can't use and then they found out that you need a really powerful circuit to use it so um, you know you guys should be aware of this and they should also disclose this right now we're gonna go ahead and juice this guy in look at this just gonna drop it in look at that it just sucks right in totally amazing look at all the juice coming out it's spraying on the window whoa I didn't assemble it right the tops popping up <laughs> but all the juice is coming out this is a really nice uh, filter juice there but now I'm gonna take you guys around the back and show you guys the destruction did to the cane. Oh my God, check it out, man. It literally turned the cane into sawdust. It's super impressive. Now, here's some of the cane. I'm gonna eat it. I mean, <laughs> taste, doesn't taste good. It's just all fiber. I mean, this is literally sawdust. This is some of the driest sure cane I've seen in my life. And if we look back here, look at this. I mean, it literally just powders up the cane. Uh, that being said, you know, there, there needs to be some kind of better, like, thing that, like, that funnels this down into the bin because it does make a mess. It kind of, like, goes everywhere. So this maybe should have been better, better thought out. I guess there is a little table here that you could pop up. Maybe if that was up, it would uh, funnel it out a little bit better. But that's not really a good catch, you know, to catch it onto a table. It should be, like, a nice removable bin or something that you could set on here that it all goes in neat and clean so you don't have to like be sweeping up uh, when you're done with your day. So now we're gonna go ahead and try that cane juice I just made. And you know really, as long as the juicer juices cane juice, uh, you know the taste is actually uh, based on how good the cane is, not how good the juicer is, because the juicer's just extracting everything out of it. Wow, that's some really sweet cane juice, especially I'm here in the winter time, which is maybe not the rest, right time of year to be growing the sugar cane. They source some really good cane. And the other thing I will say about that is that it's actually filtered finely. There's no particulate in there. That's super impressive. 
I think the next thing I wanna show you guys, actually open this up and show you guys inside and show you guys after two years of use, what happens inside this machine. So, I mean, you could see over here, I mean, there's definitely some kind of like leakage stuff. I don't know if that's sugar cane plus grease or what, but I mean, it, uh, it generally stays pretty clean, but you can see, I mean, it's dripping now because we don't want that drip stop. But uh, generally down here would stay pretty clean, although there's some leakage. This is a nice heavy duty motor. I will say this is heavy duty motor. The problem with that is that this machine is like 300 pounds. So unless you got two big guys, you're not lifting this baby up. And good thing it's actually on wheels because they had to get a special trailer with a ramp so they could actually roll it up because this thing ain't being picked up. My sugarcane juicer alone is like about 100 pounds and I can barely lift it up myself, but I pretty much wheeled it into my house and then just lifted it up to put it uh, put it where I set it and I've basically forgotten it because I'm not moving it again. Um, oh, and then this is the capacitor uh, that did go out that they were able to source locally uh, to change. That's the only thing that basically failed on this juicer. Um, you know, in the last two years, they've had it. I mean, overall, this machine's uh, you know good. I think it's personally overpriced at $3,600 for what it is, especially when it has all these, you know, things. They, they did put some silicone here because it is leaking down and that's basically due to the tray not being perfect. You know, I hope that the company would actually improve this and then send out for free the upgraded parts for the people that have already purchased this. Because I mean, to me, this is just not acceptable. And until it gets fixed, I encourage you guys not to buy it actually. But the sugarcane juice it makes is great. It gets it really dry. And every machine has their pros and cons. And of course, a guy selling the machine that doesn't sell anything else is gonna make it out to be the best thing in the world. But when I see it, I'll tell you guys like it is. If it's messing up, it's messing up. This thing is good and bad. Um, I hope they do improve it in the future. Um, I do wanna say that I was gonna be a dealer for Turbo Biz and they're supposed to send me a machine, but that just never happened. So, uh, you know, want you to be careful about any uh, juicer you end up buying with uh, companies you know sometimes you just don't know anyways i think the last part of this episode actually i want to sit down with one of the owners here and uh, talk to him about his experience uh, with the sugarcane juicer that he bought from turbo Bi tubo biz so now i'm here with adam one of the co-owners of the ghana love enjoying the fresh mm, delicious sugarcane check this out man uh, you have an option of getting the glass containers, which I recommend you guys get. And also, they don't have plastic straws. They use um, paper straws, fully compostable, so they're generating less waste. And I would encourage you guys to do that. They also have the option of, of course, uh, compostable plastic um, cups as well. But uh, we're gonna talk to Adam today about the juicer. So Adam, how long have you guys been in business uh, making the sugarcane juice here? It's been about two years. This was our first market. We just lived down the road and we source our cane just in the city next to us. That's Ocean awesome. Side. Cool, and so all that time you've been using the Tubo Biz. It's the only juicer we have. We, just like you said, we do count on it. So it's good that it's been reliable for us in this two years. Cool, and so um, any improvements that they should maybe make to the machine that you've experienced yourself? Like some of the ones you said, having a cap on the drip would be nice, and also to have the tray a little longer so that it doesn't leak out of the sides. And if there was any way they could make it lighter, that would always be nice too. <laughs> right, I mean, it is stainless steel, heavy duty commercial, so it's probably, uh, I think one of the things I would like to say for improving the machine, I mean, if you're spending $3,600 on a juicer, they should, you, and especially you're in Australia or wherever, Philippines or wherever they are, they should include an extra parts pack for free. Extra parts are really inexpensive. They should include that, including like an extra capacitor, some extra bearings, those extra thumb screws, just some of the commonly things that may go wrong with the juicer so that it, it causes less downtime, you know, and they just come with a machine. So just in case, I mean, I think that'd be, that'd go a long way to improve the customer service. And oh, how has been, how has been your experience with the customer? Customer service aspect if you did have a problem to contact uh, Tubo Biz after the sale. I gotta say it's been good. They respond to emails right away. They answer all of our questions and they're very supportive on uh, and encouraging on our success that we've been having at the markets. So customer service is good. Cool, cool. And I guess not aside not aside from the juicer because the juicer is pretty solid but needs some improvements. Um, How do you say? Um, why did you start the business in the first place? I started the business because we traveled to Singapore and we fell in love with the juice. It was hot. We had it on every corner like five times a day. We come home, we're Googling where to find it. The only places were a few Asian markets down in San Diego. So as soon as we realized that cane grows in California and grows around us, we got a juicer and we decided to bring it to the market and try to sell it. 
That's amazing. It's been working for you, right? It's been working great. It's new to a lot of people, but also like a lot of people from Mexico or Asian countries, they always say that they chewed it when they were kids. <laughs> we hear it 10 times a day. And uh, it makes a lot of people happy to see cane because it's not something that Americans are that, uh, that they don't know about. Yeah, and I would say I think it's great to start a juicing business or even a cane business, whatever, because it just allows people to get more fresh fruits and vegetables in them, right? I'd rather drink a sugar cane juice any day of the week instead of a soda or even a coffee or other beverages. I mean, when you juice it fresh and live, it's so vibrant. It has so many, so many vitamins, minerals, and enzymes, and more importantly, the phytonutrients, the antioxidants. It's an anti-aging food. You could go on a cleanse on this stuff. Totally amazing. And they got good stuff here, man. It's it's really, really some good quality cane. So I'd encourage you guys to juice your own cane if you're able. There's no household juicers to do that at an affordable price yet. Hopefully they'll be coming out pretty soon. Um, but yeah, for a commercial one, uh, you know, this one is, is so far so good. Um, any final comments or things you'd like to say, Adam? Come today? see us on Saturdays at the Vista Market, Sundays at the Locadia Market, and Thursday nights at the Oceanside Sunset Market. Tell us, John from OK Raw Ascension will give you a dollar off any item you purchase. Wow, that's an amazing discount, and I would definitely encourage you guys to come to the markets to see them. They have some amazing cane. I mean, some of the best cane juice I've tasted in California, maybe even the best. I mean, this is this is exquisitely good cane, and I'm actually quite impressed you've been able to source uh, source it locally and such high quality. So, um, yeah. Thanks a lot, John. Yeah, cheers, man. Mm. Super delicious. Oh, and here's a tip, final tip, right? I always try to like improve and, and, and give you guys tips and suggestions on how you guys can improve your business or your home life. And cane, it's one of the, sugar cane juice is one of the juices that expires the fastest out of any juicer out, out, juice out there. Once you make it, if you put this in the fridge, I mean, it's this nice kind of brown color now. If you put this in the fridge or, and even try to drink tomorrow, it starts to go sour, starts to ferment and go bad. Not too good, right? But I figured out how to store it properly. So, I mean, in a jar like this, it's perfect. You want to get a mason uh, jar uh, food saver sealer and then suck a vacuum on it, right? And put the lid on there so you're sucking in a vacuum. If you do that, then it's going to store maybe an, e an extra day or two. But if you put lemon juice in there in the bottom and then the rest sugar cane juice and then vacuum it, you could easily store this a week or more. So I'm actually glad that they're actually already using the mason jars, so they just need to get a vacuum attachment. They can start vacuuming for people so that you could come to the market and literally buy a bunch of bottles or jars for the week. And you could drink it the whole week instead of having to expire in a day or two. Normally people would freeze it in big plastic jugs, which, you know, once you freeze juice, it's just not the same. It doesn't taste the same. So yeah, the vacuum technology and plus some lemon or, you know, other citric acid uh, fruit uh, limes um, can, can be uh, amazing. I've stored cane juices, not that I recommend this, for up to a month this in this way with actually a lot even a, a th uh, one quarter lemon juice the, the reason that it that it uh, oxidizes so fast is due to the high mineral content the high ph and it's a really alkaline drink also if you add in a citrus it helps preserve it as well yeah so actually uh, when you come here what you want to get is you want to get some citrus in there plus some ginger uh, that's definitely the best yeah organic fresh pressed ginger Awesome. Yeah. So uh, I guess that's pretty much it for this episode today. If you guys enjoyed this episode of my opinions and uh, Adam's experience with the Tubo Biz, please give this video a thumbs up. This will encourage me to make more videos just on the spot randomly when I visit places and see commercial home juicers that I may not have videos on to educate you guys, the consumer, about juicers because this is a subject I'm passionate about. You know, any way you guys can get more fresh fruits and vegetables, including grasses, which is a what sugarcane is, it's a grass, um, it's all the better. Also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on any of my new and upcoming episodes I've coming out every uh, five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what juicer, blender, vacuum blender, dehydrator, or other equipment I'll be reviewing for you guys. Also be sure to share this video with somebody else that might be looking for a sugarcane juicer or to learn about the Tubo Biz juicer because you know uh, a lot of the information out there is all one-sided because it's, it's coming from the guy that's selling it. Um, and also finally be sure to check my past episodes. If you guys are looking for a household juicer um, be sure to check my other episodes uh, for information on the different household juicers that are out there so uh, with that my name is John Kohler with discountjuicers.com be sure to visit discountjuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors